Welcome to Nook Oasis. This is an Airbnb apartment that I'll be staying at for the next nine days here in Panglao, Bahol. Studio type that's outside of the city, very near at Panglao Beach. They even have a scooter rental here. It's very affordable. The stay was so great, I ended up extending my stay for another three, four days. Have a cooker, water, pretty much everything you need. When I'm in the Philippines, I like to cook my own food. So you have a refrigerator, pots and pans. I definitely recommend this Airbnb. I'll be sure and leave a link below in the descriptions. But if you're staying in Panglao and you are wanting to venture out and do something, I suggest that you rent a scooter. And I'm going to list three things that is very close to Nook Oasis, the apartment here. For this video, I'm just gonna leave three top things to do within the distance of Nook Oasis and on this side of Panglao. There's many other beaches, many other things to do, but this is my top three, which is the closest to me. You might be wondering why I picked Panglao Beach. Well, I have many reasons. First off is it's walking distance from my apartment. Second is it's like you have the whole beach to yourself. There's no one else there. There is some locals, but it's not the locals that's hassling you to buy pearls and hassling you to buy shakes and food. It's just young kids that's doing backflips and happy if you just take a picture with them. So that's the reason why I picked Panglao. Don't get me wrong, there is better beaches and that there is prettier views, but a lot of them are so crowded with people or you have people trying to hassle you and won't leave you alone trying to sell you pearls or sell you stuff. Malavi Cliff Diving Resort is number two on my list and as you can see by the footage this place is absolutely amazing. If you like to jump off cliffs, swim with sardines, snorkel, scuba dive, this is the place for you. So I highly recommend visiting Malavi Cliff Diving Resort. I had a blast here. I actually went here four times. It's 200 pesos to enter and you can swim, jump off cliffs. They have snorkel mask and scuba diving gear and life jackets, but I just brought my own mask and pretty much snorkeled all day. Swimming with sardines, uh, swimming with all types of fish, uh, a nice coral. Uh, the water was uh, crystal clear. Such a wonderful time and highly recommend it. That's why it's number two on this list. A number three goes out to the Henning Diamond Cave. This cave is quite different than the other caves I've been to. I've visited a lot of caves uh, all around the US and here in the Philippines also. But this cave you can actually swim in, which is a great plus 
whenever it's a hot day and you're trying to avoid the sun. You have to remember that the Philippines, it's usually hot here. And also the sun is usually very bright. So if you want to go swimming, you want an activity where there's no sun, guess what? Go to the cave. So this cave is third on my list. And like I said, this video is just the top three that is near my apartment. So there's a lot of other adventures, a lot of other sceneries, beaches, places to visit. But these three are three that is within three or four miles apart. And it's very affordable, very cheap. This cave only costs 50 pesos to enter and had a great time. Uh, also, got to get out of the sun for a little while, but these are my top three and at Nook Oasis, the Airbnb I've stayed at. So if you're looking for a good time, looking to not spend a lot of money, these are three activities that you can do all in one day.